never considered myself to be sentimental when it comes to things. I've always been able to clean out, purge, get rid of stuff. However, I chose to marry a man who was the exact opposite and saw no reason to get rid of things even if you didn't need them. What are you doing with that? I'm throwing it out. Why? It's chipped. Well, it's just a small chip. It's still perfectly good. So you learn to pick your battles. And I guess one of the things that illustrates that is the story of the butter dish. So for years, we had a butter dish that was this brown, pottery butter dish that did its job just fine. Held a nice stick of butter, had a lid. One day, I opened the cabinet, and there's the new white porcelain butter dish. Oh, new butter dish. That's nice. Yeah, I got tired of that other one. So what did you do with it? A slight pause. I threw it out. I've met you. What did you do with it? Another slight pause. It's in the cabinet at the end. Why? For emergency purposes, in case there's some butter emergency and we need the second dish? Why do you want to hang on to it? Let's just get rid of it. What's a perfectly good butter dish? Why throw it out? So after 40 years with the same person, you tend to accumulate a lot of stuff. And when he dies, you get to literally clean house and clean out. Now, there's no negotiation when you want to get rid of that piece of exercise equipment that neither one of you has ever used. And those 20 empty terracotta flower pots can be put out on trash day without having to sneak them out of the basement and clothes. Well, a lot of clothes. Now, this was in 2017. So Hurricane Maria had hit and devastated Puerto Rico in particular. So there were a lot of people from Puerto Rico that were relocating to Philadelphia to be with relatives. And winter's coming in Philadelphia. And if you're from Puerto Rico, you don't have winter clothes. You don't need them. Well, I had a closet full of sweaters and coats and hats and gloves. So I gathered them all up and I donated them to an organization that was working with these displaced families. And I thought, he would like that. And even though like, things are, are good, three years have gone by, life is good, and I've met a wonderful guy, but there's one thing I haven't been able to get rid of. When he went into the hospital and didn't come out, I left the hospital carrying that clear plastic bag with the handle and the clothes he wore when he went in. And in my dresser, in the bottom drawer, in that bag, is that shirt. And for the first few months after he died, every now and then I would take out that shirt and I would just hold it to my face mm -hmm. and I breathe it in as if I could smell it. But for the past two years, it's just stayed in that bag and it's sitting in that drawer. It's a perfectly good shirt. Why throw it out? <laughs>